Back on, back on, Gertie Rude. Back again, that Wednesday mood. It is Wednesday, isn't it? Tell me it's Wednesday. Is it Wednesday? Wednesday the 14th? Oh no, is it Thursday the 15th? I don't even know what it, where we are, to be honest. Whatever day it is, we're here. We're all here again, troops. And today I'm going to review this new kid on the block. Um, he calls himself, where is it? Oh, it's not on here. Truth Central, who's come up on YouTube, very new, newbie, and he's got a lot of flack. So I thought what I'd do is I'd jump in and we go through it together. It's about this certain YouTuber. Online bullying, questionable credentials, dodgy demons. Mm. Right, well, we'll start there because as you can hear, they use a robotic voice or a, a voice app. I don't know what it is, but anyway, they use that. And the main concern from her little flying monkeys, and I'm not even convinced that half of them aren't actually her, under her many, 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 many sock accounts that she's got, uh, in my opinion, and allegedly, that's my opinion, may not be true, don't care. Probably is, she's got so many, she's like a cult leader, to be honest, from my personal opinion, it is like a cult um, she's very, very good. She took an acting course or some key summit or other that no one, do you know what I mean? Really, don't care. And so she gets on here and she makes everybody feel very, very sorry for her. Very, very sorry. I did parodies of her, but they weren't really parodies. Uh, retrospectively, they were more like satirical and I intend to carry on doing them. And, um, yeah, because I don't really parody her per se, I take a nugget of somebody like her and I sort of flesh it out and make it into something that really is a lot more interesting <laughs> than this particular YouTuber um, and funny. So, yeah, really what I should do is satirise her more because that's that's where it's at. But if you remember, the eponymous YouTuber in question was on HD Tudor's um channel not long ago who uses a voiceover nobody knows what sex he is he says he's a man is he a man nobody knows because he uses a voiceover and he's entitled to and she's quite happy with him having his anonymity for whatever reason due to his profession but the new kid on the block truth central who uses a voiceover isn't allowed to do that no and there are many flying monkeys and many little acolytes I've been on this uh, young guy's channel because I reached out to the person. Um, and the stuff they've put, I think because I left a few comments, everything that's ever said on this guy's new channel comes up on my notification so I can see what people are saying, basically. And I wish I didn't because it's just nonsense. She's got them very, very well brainwashed and well trained. You know, they're groomed within an inch of their bleeding existences, the load of them. They've made various uh, demands that they think what this young man should do is contact this particular YouTuber, Tia Therapy, and ask her permission uh, before he does a reaction video to her. Yeah, I kid you not. Yeah, demand, demand. There's nothing so like the be kind, bleep, hashtag be kind, is there that's, uh, yeah, the most tyrannical people going. You've only got to read George Orwell to know that, 1984. Yes, all the sociable socialists are the least sociable and the most tyrannical. But it's OK for her to give all her opinions. And if anybody actually believes that she's got the inside information, that Archie is being bought up in Yorkshire, are just deluded. They're deluded, beyond deluded. Quite what her raison d'etre is, I do not know. I tend to think it's disinformation because her name was linked with Boozy. And then through that link with Boozy, um, she had her, what she deemed to be her nemesis, Yankee Wally, taken down. Um, she also was infamous for having a spat. She falls out with everybody. But she had a spat with a very uh, well-known other YouTuber, and the other YouTuber actually believed her credentials and used her services as a therapist. After which, when they fell out, this particular tea and therapy YouTuber splashed all this other major YouTuber. I'm not going to name them, but it's a major female YouTuber. One of the first um, credible Mexi 
Mexican community YouTubers. Uh, yeah, splashed all her private information and all the things that she'd uh, used her therapist uh, time to talk about her counselling sessions. were all splashed and continue to this day to be splashed all over X. I don't think she'd do it on YouTube because like all of her little cabal, they use YouTube as their income. So they set their R off on like X where you can get away with it. Now, this YouTuber has pointed out to me because they a bit upset, obviously, because they're new kids on the block. Uh, and, they, and they said, well, you know, they don't actually watch the video. They get a couple of minutes in and just fire off a lot of accusations and don't actually see the point of what I'm trying to make. Now, I've got to give you a disclaimer. I think this guy is being far, far too, well, sympathetic and courteous to her. Um, at first, I did sort of go up against him and say, no, that's rubbish. I've got um, my all my credentials and my certificates are well out of date, as you can imagine. But back in my day, I did a year's course in counselling skills and it was um, linked to a very well-known professional institute in Britain that I was accredited under and I was taking um, qualifications under this specific institute. And one of the modules, it was made up of four, five, uh, five different modules, but one of the modules was counselling skills. And I would never, ever, ever assume to get on here and do what she's been doing even just i mean where is her skill set it's not a one size fits all when you're a counselor oh yeah just bring me all yeah i can deal with anything no no it doesn't work like that and where's her supervision and where does she update her credentials because if mine are out of date then hers are out of date as well specifically you do need to keep up to date with different things that are going on she's not accredited because uh i just know that 100 percent because i've more than checked it out and it's unfortunate for her that one of my neighbors uh in the area that me and this youtuber live in is actually involved in the accreditation of counselors and therapists for the national health in the area in which i live in so it's a bit of bad luck on tea and therapy really and I, months ago, sent her a video or linked to a video so she could watch it. She was just astounded, astounded. I mean, the sub under par intellect is just off the scale. The I've seen lots of um, different comments that have come up saying, oh, well, she helped me and didn't charge me a penny. And you just think, yeah, OK, M's, yeah, whatever, love. Do you get me? <laughs> because I beg to differ on a lot of that. And as I say, I don't actually go along with what this Truth Central YouTuber's conclusions are. I think this guy is being very um, humble and very open minded. I would be a lot more intolerant because from where I'm standing, I don't believe she should be using a YouTube channel to summon up um clients or whatever you call them willing dupes is another word i suppose and uh, even though she says she's never charged i've got undeniable proof because once i started parodying her i was inundated with people getting you know dming me and messaging me and emailing me so i know different and uh, like she came on and did the mia culpa what i call the mia culpa video where she just thinks she was a victim i was such a victim look at me i'm so lovely and i mean it would make if if you didn't know different you'd fall for it i've i just read a bit of the transcript because i'm not into her acting it's just naff and because i know different it was just mind-blowing the just sheer cheek and gall of this individual is unbelievable if people, I don't care that she's got all these subs and people love her. Go and love her. Go and, you know, be whatever you want to be with her. Nobody's saying any different. But none of her acolytes and none of her flying monkeys and none of her soccer accounts have got the right to dogpile onto a new YouTuber who they haven't actually watched the whole video. Because if they had, she comes off a lot better than what I'd let her come off, to be fair. I did sort of have a bit of to and fro with a particular... Uh, guy that runs this truth central and obviously it's his first rodeo so it was a bit overbear overpowering really to have all this kickback because and i said to him have you looked at your analytics have you seen exactly how much of the 
uh, videos or watched, what percentage are watched all the way through, what's the click-through rate, blah, blah, blah. And they got back to me and said, well, they don't even make four minutes. So four minutes in, they've decided what's going on and then they're just leaving disgusting comments, disgusting, saying all sorts of stuff that is just insanely untrue. Um, this one here I've said a million times before and I'd say it to her face. Uh, everybody knows, if you're on X, everybody knows that she's... Well, she was here, Piggy, Piggy Pig, which was a dig at the female YouTuber she used to like persecuting. But that's gone a bit... She only has a pop now and again uh, now. She just basically is over with them. Um, and then she changed it to, oh, happy hopper, oh. Hashtag the big reveal. And it was the big reveal. I didn't know tea and therapy was the big reveal, but it was the big reveal along with all the people that male YouTubers that were bullying me because I had the sheer unmitigated gall to stick up for people that were suffering from cancer and having their young, their daughter bullied and being driven mad and people like poor old Yankee Wally has done no harm to nobody. Uh, I had the unmitigated gall to say something about that and boy did I suffer. I've had from March to August, 24 hours a day, seven days of the week, um, just, I couldn't even begin to tell you the, the hell I've been through, the absolute abject hell. I've had to have the police involved, this, that and the others happened, and just for sticking up for somebody. So I know the power, and she is one of that cabal, she's in with them. There's a few females that are in with this little cabal of... Well, it's really weird because this particular YouTuber is very left-leaning and they're all exceedingly right-leaning. I, I don't know whether that's pertinent, but for what it's worth, I mention it. And, yeah, I've seen the stuff she writes. And when a particular YouTuber who already emailed me to say, I'm getting your channel shut down, you see if I don't, and then got my email, and from my email that my YouTube email actually trawled through Facebook and social media platforms to find my real name. Once they found my real name, they found my deceased late husband's uh, Facebook memorial page. And for a laugh, for a laugh, because that's what they're like. I mean, they're kidding, aren't they? They're kidding. They're lovely, really, aren't they? Uh, for a laugh, they put up pictures of him on X that they'd stolen from his memorial page to persecute me, knowing that people would tell me. Uh, mocking his looks. Now, I'm going to tell you for what it's worth. I've, I've told people, people close to me know. But my husband, when he knew he was terminal, uh, he fought and fought and fought. I've never seen anybody fight as much as what he fought to live. When he knew he was terminal, his oncologist said to him, we, we're um, trying out a new um, chemotherapy uh, drug and we're doing trials on it. Would you like to you know, sign up for the trial because he said it may give you another six six weeks. It could give you another six months, but it, conversely, it could work the opposite way. And he signed up for it because he wanted to live and he knew he was going to die anyway. And he thought, if I can just live one more day through taking this drug, yeah. So he signed up for it against my thing. I didn't want him to do it, but it wasn't me there. It was him doing it, and it was him his life. <laughs> And he did it and he had the first bout on the 16th of June, 2022. And he was dead on the 27th of June, 2022. Um, and he tried out, the, the, he was, to me, he's a hero. I just hope that because they were trying, they were trialing it and trying different dosages on different uh, diagnosis of different people, I suppose, how bad they were or what their outcome was, what prognosis was or whatever. And so I hope that whatever they did, that whatever they gave him, they learned something out of that and maybe could, um, you know, angle it better so it helped people uh, in the future and, and help them live longer. He was an amazing man. He was such a hero. And when I found out that this was all splashed over X, I noticed, because it was thrust in my face, a friend of mine said, look, look, look. And I've looked and I, I see the name Big Reveal uh, and all nasty comments, blah, 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 and laughing, da, da, da. And it was all, I'm not going to say the names, but it was all the usual suspects that if you know me, you know who they are. Um, and I nearly had a nervous breakdown. I nearly had a nervous breakdown on the spot. 
I was very, very ill. I didn't bring it on here and tell anybody here. But I nearly lost my mind. I was so gutted. I was so upset to think that anybody could do that. Anybody. And then it was at a later date, like a few weeks later, something else, because by then it was just a dog pile onto Gertie Rood. Um, and I was getting it every day, every day, bloody, bloody, blah. I tried to fight back, but they're not worth it because there's more of them than me, you know. And uh, so I've got a video channel on there now and I very, very rarely go on X. I've just got my Gertie Rude video channel and I don't actually go on there at all because they're a cesspit of uh, mental people, really, and bullies. So um, and then it came out that Ems was the big reveal. And of course, I knew Ems. And everybody that knows me that's listening to this and knows me behind the scenes will know that I'm telling the truth when I said at the time, I cannot believe that she could do that because I know no Ems. I thought she was cool. I didn't know. And I said, are you absolutely sure this is TNT therapy that would say that about my husband? And they're like, didn't you know, Gertie? She's been the big reveal on here for like ever, you know, here for like nearly a year now. And then I was shown some from the Wayback Machine and things like that, uh, where she's actually been called out for getting Yankee Wally thrown off. And she breaks cover and says, well, it's me, I'm Ems, it's me. What, what's your problem? What have I done? You tell me what I've done to so-and-so and the other female YouTuber, bloody, bloody, blah. I was shown X amount of different comments people sent them to me and said, have a look for yourself. And then I was convinced, yes. And then I looked into her myself and I found out a lot about her. Um, because when you put your, your head above the parapet, it's all out there in the public domain. And it's not bullying, as she says, or her little acolytes say, for people to go and look at her credentials that she shouts about, uh, make comments on them. As I say, Se Truth Central is far more charitable towards her than what I would be. And I did kind of fall out with him a bit because I said, well, this is absolute horseshit. You know, excuse my French. This is nonsense. I don't know how you can say that she is a credible therapist after the things I know that she said. And I've read uh, stuff from the Wayback Machine when she was brayer and different things. People were sending me stuff so I could see for myself because I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that, that this YouTuber from TNT Therapy, who I reached out to, I think it was just before the Queen's Jubilee, and said, do you fancy doing a, a collaboration for the Jubilee? And she was all over me at first, and then I mentioned a few other YouTubers I was friends with, and I never heard from her again. But me being me, I didn't realise what I'd said because I didn't understand what was going on. So I just assumed that my email had got lost and put in a spam or a junk folder and just left it gone with my own life. Because I was bereaved. I was still getting over the, losing my husband. I've got a disabled child and I've also bringing up my grandchild. And yeah, I've got a very busy life. So I wasn't concentrating. But when I was given so much evidence, plus the evidence of my own eyes, I then began to see through the veil, this very thin veil she's got, and then I started looking at her qualifications and they don't add up. They don't add up to me. Uh, what Truth Central's conclusions are, that's down to him. And uh, if people give him more than four minutes, they will work out that he's actually just making the point that she's more of a YouTuber than a therapist, which is very kind. It's very kind of him because people do watch her thinking um, that they're getting some sort of therapy session out of her and her in She's not intellectually, do you know what I mean? <laughs> not very bright. No, I don't want to be a bitch. But yeah, intellectually, yes, kind of lacking, which is where you can see through the veil. But her acolytes, flying monkeys, and as I say, her sock accounts are all over Truth Central, demanding that he ring her and ask permission. Or why doesn't he ring her and ask her? No, it doesn't work like that, YouTube. She's allowed to do exposés of Paul Lorem and go on HG Tudor and do all, all these things, but other people aren't allowed to do them. Oh, no, 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 not when you're talking about the great cult leader. You know, it's absolutely ridiculous. And if people do get something out of her, well, jolly good for you guys. But personally, she nearly gave me a nervous breakdown. It's a wicked, wicked, 
wicked woman. And I've read all the stuff that she writes on X about uh, Trevor Cole, MC, a man that does suffer really badly with PTSD. Not a made up Walter, Walter Mitty one, a real bad case of PTSD. And for whatever they fell out over, he doesn't deserve the sustained two year campaign of bullying. He's had 24 seven bullying. And anybody that dared stand up for him, like a certain YouTube couple that live off land, they don't live actually in Britain, they live sort of in our overseas dominions, let's put it like that. One of whom was struggling with cancer. Now the worst um, indicator of cancer is stress. And that man was put under the amazing amount of stress by these couple of nasty, wicked people. They've got no idea. One day it might be them facing something like this. And we're all supposed to feel sorry for them because they're in the army, but never in a war zone. And like they got PTSD from tying their shoelaces. And they can literally just hide behind that and behave absolutely appallingly and not care one penny piece about the fact that Trevor... Colt MC has got complex PTSD and he suffers really bad from it, like crowds and sudden noises and things like that. And plus the extensive and absolutely intolerable 24 seven uh, rubbishing and othering of him that he's had from X. I mean, there isn't anything that you could say about anybody that they haven't said a dozen times. It's boring now. You go on there, you get the same stuff. People send it to me, oh, I don't go on there, but people send me like nuggets, if you know what I mean. So have a look at this, have a look at that, girl, you know, and you read it and you think, you sad, bleeding sacks. You know, change the bloody tune. You're singing the same song, it's boring. And keep being rubbish in other female YouTubers. Uh, the guy with cancer's wife is a particular favourite that they love to bully and just pound into the ground endlessly. And the big reveal, a.k.a. Team Therapy, yeah, he's one of those people. And she's really enjoyed herself. And it's very galling when you see her pop over from YouTube, sit in front of her camera and tell her all her little acolytes what a victim she is. She's a cry bully, like all, all of them lot. They're all cry bullies. Like, oh, I'm being bullied. Oh, you're bullied. To do a reaction video about her, apparently is bullying her. Yeah, but what she does isn't bullying anybody. What therapist do you know would behave like that? If she had all these qualifications and her intellect was up there enough to be able to pass these qualifications, she wouldn't be on X bullying people. Now, would she? It doesn't make sense. And people can say, oh, you don't know. Oh, I've heard it. I've heard the best one. Oh, well, it's probably someone pretending to be her. It's probably someone saying they're her. Uh, let's think about that laterally. Who would do that and why? That makes no sense at all. And there's so many uh, posts that she put on X where she's like, oh, hi, it's Ems, it's Ems. Tell me what, it, it, you know, why? Oh, just shut up, just be quiet. You know, you're all a crock of, ugh. I'm glad I do comedy and I don't do this nonsense. But I mean, like the guy says in Truth Central, she does blur the lines between therapist and YouTuber. Because the therapist shouldn't really be solic soliciting gifts and funds. Uh, there should be that uh, distance between you and your client. Uh, is as much as what hearsay about it. But I could put it a lot worse than that. Personally, I I just don't think she should be hawking her wares as any sort of counselling person. Uh, until she gets her own personality straight. Because um, she ain't very nice, mate. And that is my considered opinion. And I'm entitled to my opinion. And with that, can everybody go over and give Truth Central a sub? I feel so sorry for him. Uh, he's going to do uh, some other YouTubers as well, which I'm quite excited about. And um, they're not necessarily the ones you'd think. They're some of the ones that, you know, everybody needs. Re I've had reaction videos. It happens, doesn't it? You know what I do when people do a reaction video? And I know the person that's done it. I don't I know it's going to be like hate on Gert. Do you know what I do? I mean... It's not that deep. What I do is I literally don't watch it. I don't watch it. I don't watch. I don't view. I don't read. It, people, when you put your head above the parapet, can say what they want. And they have done vociferously about me. And the fact that I'm a widow, they've mocked, 
not the living granny out of me for that. That has been a, a subject of mirth for them for a very long time. Oh, yeah, let's all laugh at her about that. Let's all laugh at pictures of her dead husband, her deceased husband, that we've stolen off of Facebook. Oh, look at me. Yeah, I'm such a paragon of virtue, I am. And then sit on YouTube and say, oh, I've had this for three years. I've had, you no, know, because people have been calling you out for three years because not everyone is as dumb as your flying monkeys and your little acolytes. And you all deserve each other. But you can leave Truth Central alone because they're only starting out and they're entitled to their opinion and as I say they're a lot kinder about this person than what I'd ever be so if you lot can actually like they said <laughs> they can't get past four minutes unless she's talking about Meghan Markle <laughs> that's how deep they are mates so anyway Jesus right wherever you are in the world have a lovely evening afternoon morning good night and always beware yeah of all timidities and ne'er do wells bye bye now love you